Live from Fayetteville, this is your Razorback Nation Report, powered by your Central Arkansas Honda dealers. One of the big questions in the Razorback Nation, who's going to be the starting quarterback for the Hogs this Saturday at Mississippi State? Regular starter Casey Dick did not have a good last game. He left with concussion. Little brother Nathan Dick came in, played well, and he could start this week. Both should be healthy, and running back Mike Smith should be full speed too. Let's hear from Coach. We want to make sure that, that Casey's back healthy. We did like the way Nathan played when he came in. Um, wasn't Casey's best game of the year against South Carolina. He certainly had some mistakes prior to, to getting hit in the head. And, uh, you know, also the we don't want to make sure that Mississippi State has to prepare for both of them. Whether he'll be the starter or Nathan will be the starter, uh, certainly feel confident with either one of them starting. Michael practiced last night, looked very quick and fast. I think his legs are, are back and, and feeling good. So that, that was good to see. We, we uh, will be as healthy as we've been all year, I think. When tight end DJ Williams is healthy, he is as good as anybody in the nation at his position. And I'm not the only one saying it. Williams is one of eight semifinalists to win the John Mackey Award, which goes to America's best tight end. You know, he knows the playbook. He, he, he knows how to read defenses. And he's got great speed for a tight end. You know, he's tough and he, he gets after it. And, you know, he's a guy that you really respect on the field. His double digit catches the, the past few weeks has, has really sparked the offense and, and helped us uh, get things going. He's been our, our go to guy. He's the guy that's had the, the big plays and a lot of third down conversions. You know, it sure wouldn't hurt the Hogs for DJ to have a huge week this Saturday. Arkansas has beaten Mississippi State nine straight times. They'll try to make it 10, 1.30 Saturday from Starkville. Back on the Hill is more Razorback basketball this week. You know, thanks in part to junior Michael Washington, the Hogs were able to survive an overtime season opening thriller Friday night. Washington had career highs of 30 points and 14 rebounds. He had seven straight points in overtime, basically won the game single-handedly. Today, he was named the SEC's Player of the Week. Oh my gosh, we broke him down tonight with in terms of minutes, just uh, 41 or 45. Um, I can't say enough about that performance. That's, all, that's unbelievable. That's just Mike Washington, man. He's a, he a hard-going guy every day in practice, man. 30 and 14, that, that doesn't surprise me. Those numbers that he's capable of getting, we wish we could take some pressure off of him. Next up, game number two of the season. It's this Thursday night hosting UC Davis. Tip-off set for 7.05 from Bud Walton Arena. Talk a little former Hogs real quick. Who would have thought out of Darren McFadden, Felix Jones, and Peyton Hillis that it would be Hillis that has the best NFL rookie season? Well, that's the case so far. Hillis was the featured back for the Denver Broncos Sunday. 70 total yards and two touchdowns. Getting him out in the backfield, out of the backfield, uh, into the routes is uh, a plus for us. You know, he's hard to cover, especially in that fullback position. And, uh, you know, we were confident with him all week long with his ability to run. Um, he's a football player. Here. Congrats to him. We also have some high school information on our website, the Fearless Friday link, guys. And we'll have much more about the new quarterback controversy. That's tonight at 10 o'clock. All right. Good news for Peyton, you know. That worked out great for him. Oh, it really did. You couldn't happen to a better guy either. Yeah. Peyton Hillis, unbelievable. Mm -hmm. All right, Aaron, thanks very much. We will see you at 10.